Hey guys, this is Raccoon Recap. Today I share with you the anime named Sakiri. The male protagonist in this anime is forced to live with four hot goddesses who are alien life forms Sakiri. Their appearance is the same as that of humans, but they have much stronger vitality. As long as they have intimacy with humans, they can complete the evolution. The more intimate their behavior is, the more energy they can get. The male protagonist becomes the owner of the Sakiri, each of whom must obey his orders. There will be a lot of interesting and blushing plots among them. The story begins in Tokyo, Japan in 2020, where our main character, Minato, failed his second college entrance examination and did not get into his favorite university. Frustrated, he doesn't know if he should continue to prepare for the next examination. Just when Minato is still hesitating, he sees the news that the president of MBI Group has acquired Tokyo. Minato did not expect that MBI Group would spend money buying the city, which gives him a new understanding of the group's financial strength. Then, a girl suddenly falls from the sky, smashing Minato to the ground. Unexpectedly, the girl not only looks cute, but also has a very hot figure. The girl's name is Musubi, and she is being hunted by twin sisters Hikari and Hibiki. Their ability to manipulate lightning shocks Minato, because in Minato's worldview, humans cannot have such powerful ability. Musubi runs to safety with Minato, but she's so hungry that she finally faints. Minato can't bear to abandon Musubi and thus takes her back to his rental room. Since Musubi has nowhere to go, she hopes to stay in Minato's place for the time being. Musubi tells Minato that she has been looking for a master who can take control of the fate of this world with her. Minato doesn't understand her words, but as he accidentally touches a private part, he gets very shy. Because the landlord does not allow Minato to bring girls home, Minato falsely claims that Musubi will not stay overnight. He wants Musubi to leave, but he's so kind that he can't just drive her away. Musubi is grateful for Minato's help, so she decides to prepare a hearty dinner for him. After that, they meet Hikari and Hibiki on the way. Although Minato doesn't know why Musubi is hunted, he still protects her. However, he is too weak, so he can only hold Musubi in his arms and runs. Strangely, Musubi's body starts to heat up, and she can't help but want to have an intimate interaction with Minato. At the moment they kiss, Musubi's body suddenly changes. According to Hikari and Hibiki's words, this means that Musubi and Minato have made a marriage contract, and Minato thus becomes the master of Musubi. For some reason, after the twins find out that Musubi has found a master, they stop chasing her. Today's experience is too fantastical for Minato, who is curious about Musubi's identity. Musubi explains that she is Sakiri. Minato doesn't know much about Sakiri as a living being, but Musubi's situation is too precarious, so Minato decides to take her in for a while. Just then, Minaka, the president of the MBI group, video calls Minato through TV, where he congratulates Minato on becoming Sakiri's master. He introduces Minato to a game named Project Sakiri, and there are 108 Sakiri entries. As long as they are still in the capital, they cannot escape the control of MBI group. Not only do they have to find their masters, but they also have to fight each other until there's only the last Sakiri remaining. The Sakiri program is a secret of the group, and each Sakiri has very special skills. Minaka asks Minato to keep this secret, or he will be punished. After the call, Musubi receives clothes sent by MBI group. Because they forgot to close the door, the landlord sees Musubi living here. He gets so angry that he throws them out of the rental. Minato has no job or money and can't find a place to live. He feels very incompetent and unworthy to be Sakiri's master. Musubi comforts Minato that he is a very special person to her, and she loves Minato very much. Whatever Minato wants to do, she will help him do it no matter what. Musubi takes Minato to fly high into the air. Because she hasn't learned how to land, they fall to the ground together. Luckily, a woman named Mia takes them in. It's a rental house belonging to Mia. Except for her, everyone else is a tenant here. Mia has a kind personality and welcomes all homeless people. With Mia's help, Minato rents one of the rooms in the rental house. At dawn, Minato returns to the rental house where he used to live to pack his bags. His sister Yukari also comes to Tokyo, therefore, Minato can ask Yukari to lend Musubi a few clothes. Yukari has been admitted to university in Tokyo and will often meet Minato in the future. Their father has passed away and their mother is busy working, so the siblings are very close. Then, Minato and Musubi arrive at Mia's place with their luggage. When Musubi is bathing, she meets her neighbor Uzume. Because Uzume is also a Sakiri, Musubi attacks her. Uzume has no intention to fight, asking Minato to stop Musubi. But when Musubi sister them talking, she gets more furious. Finally, it is Mia who noticed the fighting in the courtyard and hurriedly stops them. Mia doesn't ask why they were fighting, but she would never allow any violence in her place. 
Later, when Minato touches the trunk of a tree, he meets a little girl, which seems strange to him. Unexpectedly, he dreams of her while he's sleeping. The little girl named Kusano has been crying, hoping that Minato will help her. Kusano is the last Sakiri with the ability to grow plants quickly, while her brother Shina has the opposite ability of Kusano's, which is to make plants wither instantly. As many humans want to be their masters, Kusano and her brother got separated while fleeing. While working at a construction site, Minato gets to know a colleague named Kaori who is also a contestant in the Sakiri program. Hikari and Hibiki are the Sakiri of Kaoru. Kaoru is very knowledgeable about the Sakiri program. He heard that there is a very powerful Sakiri living in the botanical garden and decides to take Minato to check it. Suspecting that the Sakiri may be Kusano, Minato follows Kaoru to the botanical garden. Kaoru tells Minato that as long as he has contact with Sakiri's mucous membranes, he can become the owner of the Sakiri. Because this method is very simple, some people will forcibly become their masters again the Sakiri's well. Kaoru thinks this tactic is very despicable, therefore he wants the kind man Minato to be the master of Kusano. With the help of Kaoru, Minato finds Kusano. Just then, a Sakiri named Yomi attacks Minato. Musubi happens to come to give Minato his mobile phone and rushes to fight Yomi. She is very good at boxing, and in order to protect Minato, Musubi destroys Yomi. After the battle, Minato takes Kusano back to his room. Kusano is very grateful to Minato for helping her and takes the initiative to kiss him through which their mucous membranes contact and Minato becomes the master of Kusano. Kusano mentions her brother Shina to Minato, hoping that he can help find Shina. After receiving the assurance from Minato, Kusano gradually relieves and moves into Miya's room. When she goes to the bathroom at night, she sees a strange dark shadow. Kusano is frightened and steps closer to Minato. What she sees is a long-haired girl with glasses. Miya and Uzume seem to know the girl, but for some reason, they don't tell the truth. After that, Minato learns the bad news that if Sakiri is defeated, she will disappear completely. In order to stay with Minato forever, Musubi vows that she will be the last survivor. Their interactions are all seen by a mysterious girl who turns out to be the dark shadow seen by Kusano, and her name is Matu. She is also the resident of the house. Having been secretly observing Minato, Matu has grown to like him. When Matu realizes that she wants to have intimate interactions with Minato, she manages to get rid of Musubi. Then she comes to the bathroom, trying to kiss Minato. At this moment, Musubi suddenly returns home. Matu uses a special prop to capture Musubi. Fortunately, Mia discovers the anomaly and stops Matu, who is also Sakiri. Because she is being hunted by the MBI group, she lives in a hidden room in the house. Matu wants Minato to be her master, so she sneaks into Minato's room to make mucosal contact with him. From this day on, Minato becomes the owner of the three Sakiri, which is a big burden for him. What he doesn't know is that there is another Sakiri looking for him and claiming that she will kill him. As Minato and Kusano have met in the dream, he thought it was a signal. To know more about the Sakiri project, Minato comes to Matu. He is worried that Sakiri will disappear once suffering defeat in battles. Matu holds his hand, hoping he will have confidence in himself. In fact, Minato has dreamed of another Sakiri. Matu reveals to him that the Sakiri is named Tsukumi, who has water power. She hates humans and doesn't want to have a master. Tsukumi senses that Minato may be her master, so she wants to kill him. Musubi overhears their conversation and she believes that Minato will be able to change Tsukumi's mind. Because Tsukumi is very powerful, Minato wants her to be his partner. Soon after, Minato sure enough meets Tsukumi, who wants to have an intimate interaction with Minato once she sees him. She hates this feeling so much that she decides to kill Minato. Before Tsukumi attacks, Minato speaks his true thoughts that he wants Tsukumi to be his Sakiri. His words infuriate Tsukumi, who immediately releases his skills to attack Minato. Enraged, Tsukumi's first attack misses the target. Target. At this moment, Kaoru shows up with Hikari and Hibiki. Kaoru's target has always been Sakiri without a master, as they have not fully evolved to use more aggressive skills. To defeat Tsukumi, Kaoru kisses Hikari and Hibiki. After the mucosal contact, Sakiri's energy is greatly boosted. Minato, fearing that Tsukumi will get hurt, stands in her way. Tsukumi finds that she can't beat Hikari or Hibiki, so she turns her sights on Kaoru. Angered by Tsukumi, Kaoru uses his skills to take control of her. Just as Kaoru is about to attack Tsukumi, Minato tells Kaoru that Tsukumi is his Sakiri. In the end, 
Hikaru is punished by Hikari and Hibiki for being a playboy. As for Minato, he finally impresses Tsukumi with his integrity and bravery, so she decides to be his Sakiri. Minato owns four Sakiri now. They all stay in Mia's house, where they create a lively atmosphere. Kusano wants to know who Minato likes. Minato expresses that he equally likes each of them. To repay their affection, he also wants to make himself stronger. Kusano takes the initiative to kiss Minato, wanting to be with him forever. Meanwhile, Minaka officially announces that the project of Sakiri enters the second phase. Since each of the Sakiri wants to live with Minato, they are all crammed into the same bed. Mia does not allow men and women to live together, deciding to reassign the rooms. Musubi and Tsukumi are assigned to a new room, while the other stays in the original one. Then, a Sakiri named Karasuba comes to the house to meet Musubi. Matsu is frightened to see Karasuba, who belongs to the punishment force of the MBI group. If Karasuba finds her, her life will be threatened. Meanwhile, Minaka broadcasts a notice to the citizens that Tokyo is completely under his control. Based on the location of Tokyo and the distribution of the MBI group's troops, Matsu supposes that the Sakiri project has entered its second phase, and the entire city will become a battlefield. At this moment, Musubi reveals to Minato that she has made a pact with Karasuba that they would be the last two Sakiri, and it will be the time for her to defeat Karasuba and stay with Minato forever. Seeing the smile on Musubi's face, Minato feels heartwarmed. He believes that she will be the final winner. While Mia's house is still calm, the outside world is getting more and more dangerous. Matsu hacks into MBI Group's ultra secret database. She discovers that three Sakiri have recently been wiped out, but the group has not found a winner. Matsu finds it strange. Generally, the winner will leave after MBI Group comes to reclaim the loser, which is their etiquette to each other. And on the other hand, it is also a way to let the group know the winners. Matsu thinks it was the same one who killed the three Sakiri but she doesn't know what her purpose is. Anyhow, this Sakiri must be very dangerous. Minato hopes his companions to be vigilant. Feeling the care for Minato, Tsukumi blushes a little. She tells Minato not to worry because she's the strongest. Hearing Tsukumi's words, Minato gets relieved. They don't know yet this rude Sakiri is Uzume, whose master is coming to the end of her life out of a serious illness. Uzume is threatened by a man named Higa. Disgusted with Sakiri's plans, Higa makes Uzume follow his orders by controlling her master. Under the direction of Higa, Uzume hunts Sakiri down every day. This time, she is tasked with destroying a Sakiri named Kuno, but she never expected to meet Tsukumi and Musubi on a mission. Because Uzume refuses to identify herself, Tsukumi becomes suspicious of her. While Tsukumi cooperates with Musubi to attack Uzume, another Sakiri stops her. This Sakiri named Kazuhana is very powerful. She thinks it's unfair that Tsukumi and Musubi join forces against Uzume. Tsukumi follows the rules, asking Musubi to fight Kuno, but Kuno and her master do not want to participate in the Sakiri program and refuse to fight Musubi. Since Tsukumi hasn't recognized Uzume, she tries to attack again, but Kazuhana shows up and takes Uzume away. Kazuhana used to stay in Mia's house, which she has been observing lately. Therefore, she knows Uzume and their relationship well. Although she doesn't know what Uzume's purpose is, she doesn't want to see them fight each other. Meanwhile, Musubi gets to know about Kuno's story and decides to help them. Kuno is a very weak Sakiri with no skills other than a loud voice. Her honor is Shiki, who failed the college entrance examination like Minato. Since Kuno is unable to fight the other Sakiri, they plan to break away from the Sakiri program and flee from the capital. However, soldiers are stationed at stations and airports. They try to escape by sea, but encounter punishment forces on the way. Minato sympathizes with their plight, but he doesn't know what he can do for them. While Minato is asleep, Kazahana and Uzume walks into his room. Being drunk, they sleep next to Minato. When Kazahana wakes up, she becomes interested in Minato, feeling that Minato resembles a person she knows. She thus decides to continue to observe him. Later, Minato asks his Akiri if there's a way for Kuno and a mask to escape from Tokyo. Matsu tells Minato that only if his Akiri are fully involved in the escape plan, there will be a chance. But MBI group is terrifying and she wants him to think it over. To help Minato better know the MBI group, Matsu reveals the history of the group. In 1999 on an island, Minaka discovered a spaceship which contained advanced technology, far surpassing human civilization. In the Kanban, many life forms that looked like humans were asleep. Although their genetic makeup was similar to that of humans, their vitality was much stronger. These beings were Sakiri. Minaka created the MBI group using the high technology on the spaceship. He then bought Tokyo and started the Sakiri project here. The Sakiri program does not allow entrants to voluntarily abstain, and if Minato helps Kuno, he will be 
severely punished. However, Minato doesn't want to give up. He still wants to help Kuno. The following plot presents how Kuno and Shigi met each other. After coming to Tokyo, Kuno became the prey of Hikari and Hibiki, but she didn't have any skills, so she could only cry nonstop. When Kuno was most helpless, Shigi gave her a bag of meat bombs, which touched Kuno and she decided to become his Sakiwi. To help them escape Tokyo, Minato enlists Kaoru's help. Kaoru analyzes the situation in Tokyo. In addition to the MBI group, Tokyo is divided into the East, West, and South camps, each with a very evil leader. For now, only the North, where Mia's house locates, is the safest. Both Mia and the deceased husband worked at MBI group, and thus she's quite powerful. Kaoru finds a relatively safe escape route, but they still have two problems. One is the civilian system of the MBI group, and the other is the punishment force. Matsu can easily deal with the civilian systems, but the punishment force is quite cheeky for them. Besides Karasuba, the punishment force has two other powerful Sakiri. Thankfully, the team of Minato is quite united, and they believe they can manage to make it. Among the four Sakiri of Minato, only Tsukumi refuses to help. She thinks that Saki was born to fight, and is very disgusted with Kuno who wants to escape. Without Tsukumi, the team's combat strength will be weaker, and Minato worries that Musubi will be in danger. Tsukumi senses Minato's feelings for Musubi. Afraid that Minato will hate her, she grabs his hand to touch her private part. However, their intimacy gets interrupted by Matsu. Embarrassed, Tsukumi hurries away. Later, Minato receives a call from Yukari, who took Shina in. As she is busy helping Shina find Kusano, she has no time to meet Minato. The siblings don't know what's going on with each other, so Kusano and Shina never get an opportunity to reunite. A day later, the escape plan begins. Matsu, as the commander, destroys the civilian system. Because Kusano is the youngest, she is responsible for attracting the soldiers' attention. As the soldiers are distracted, she uses a skill to defeat them. Unexpectedly, the MBI group soon sent troops to Kusano's location. Matsu believes that the MBI group has discovered their plan and orders everyone to leave as soon as possible. But Kaoru's cell phone malfunctions and he loses contact with them. As for Minato, he can't bear to abandon Kusano, trying to save her. Matsu is touched by Minato's moral quality, so she decides to rescue Kusano while asking Minato to act according to the original plan. Matsu then leaves the house on her motorcycle. She and Kusano work together to defeat the soldiers pursuing them. With their help, Minato and his companions reach the borderline, but just as they are about to leave Tokyo, they encounter Haihane and Benisubasa from the punishment forces. Musubi fighting them alone is in a very dangerous situation because Benisubasa's strength is even stronger than expected, and Musubi quickly loses her ability to fight. But Musubi doesn't give up, and she will fight until the last moment for Minato. Thinking that Musubi is being stupid, Benisubasa shows no mercy but ends her life. At this moment, the security pattern Musubi disappears. Minato didn't expect Musubi to fall in front of him. He holds Musubi and sheds tears. At this time, Shigi is attacked by Haihane. Looking at the injured Shigi, Kuno thinks about the scene when they first met. She kisses Shigi, which inspires her hidden skills. Kuno is not good at fighting, but her voice is very loud, and the singing can make people sleepy. Soon, Haihane falls into a coma after hearing Kuno singing. Kuno also temporarily faints due to the overuse of her ability. Just as Bani Tsubasa is about to kill them, Tsukumi arrives to stop her. She wants to be Minato Minato's favorite Sakiri and doesn't want to lose to Musubi, but when she finds the Sakiri pattern of Musubi disappeared, Tsukumi still feels very sad. If she had come earlier, Musubi wouldn't have fallen. With the anger reaching its extreme, Tsukumi immediately fights Bane Tsubasa. At this moment, Haihane wakes up. Therefore, Tsukumi has to fight both Haihane and Bane Tsubasa alone, which is very unfavorable for her. Minato doesn't abandon Tsukumi or Musubi, although he doesn't have the ability to fight. Just as Minato is about to be killed by Bane Tsubasa, Musubi's body suddenly changes. Minato sees an illusion where Musubi is telling him to teach the birds to love. When he comes to his senses, Musubi has become another person, Yume. Yume is the leader of the punishment force and is very powerful. She thinks Benisubasa and Haihane are not eligible to join the punishment force and easily throws them away. Yume tells Minato that his love awakens her. She can tell Minato is gentle at heart, so she is glad that Musubi has found such a good master. That's when Karasuba finds Yume. Both she and Yume are members of the punishment forces. In Yume's absence, the punishment forces are all managed by Karasuba, who has always wanted to fight Yume once. But as soon as she pulls out a weapon, Yume becomes Musubi. Karasuba thus can only 
leave the border. Uzume hiding in the shadow helps send Kuno and Shiki out of the border. Shiki invites Minato to leave with him, but Minato decides to stay in Tokyo because he remembers what Yume said to him. He sets it as a goal to teach the birds to love. After the crisis was resolved, Minato apologizes to his companions for his incompetence, but none of them blames him. The reason why they're united is Minato. At the end of the story, they hug Minato tightly. Although their story has come to an end for the time being, the Sakiri project continues, and there are even more challenging difficulties waiting for them. That brings the end of this anime. In the first season of Sakiri, Minato became the owner of the four Sakiri, but this was just the beginning, as the number of Minato Sakiri will continue to grow. The world setting of this anime is huge and interesting, and the fighting sessions are also very exciting, surpassing most of the battle anime released around the same time. Though Sakiri aired in 2008, it's hard to tell from the picture quality alone that this is a work from 15 years ago. It was mentioned in the anime that some people will forcefully become their masters against Sakiri's wishes. I have to say they're going too far. Anyway, Minato's harem life is very enviable, so I applied to join the Sakiri program to become the owner of Sakiri and maybe have a romantic relationship with them. If you want to join me, just sign up in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like so more people can see my channel. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support is what motivates me to keep uploading new videos. Bye!